Oracle Cloud. Basically, Oracle Cloud started off with what is called as the Oracle Public Cloud. And later on, they offered something called as Bare Metal Cloud Service, which got renamed to OCI. And when they launched OCI, they renamed the original public cloud offering to OCI Classic. So there are two different distinct offerings that Oracle has. And we are here to learn about this. We are not going to discuss about this. This is not part of our discussion at all. OCI is what is hot in the market and we're going to entirely discuss on this. So what are the locations and what is clouded customer, which is another unique offering. So first let's understand what is fundamentally different in OCI compared to OCI Classic. This is list of cloud locations as given in Oracle Cloud's website. Let me open the website also for you. So this is cloud.oracle.com. Now, if you go to the infrastructure, you see a bunch of services. You also see classic services. This is the Oracle Public Cloud original offering. What they launched as bare metal cloud, they renamed it as OCI. There's also something called as clouded customer, which I will talk about. They have a bunch of platform offerings and they have a bunch of SaaS offerings. Now, if you look at here, there is a link here to data regions. Data regions basically tells where is this located? So this is what I'm talking about. So we see this is specifically about OCI. This is for the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Data Centers. That is what is listed here. And what I showed in the slide, which I will put up back, is the regions and data centers for classic services. Now, there are different data centers. There is one in Phoenix, there is one in Ashburn, there is London, there is Zurich, sorry, not Zurich, there is Frankfurt. And planned coming up, there are many more coming up. So 2019, Oracle has got a plan for many more locations where they will come up with their data centers. Now, what you need to remember is you need to know what is available in each region. Every data center, every region is not necessarily having every service. So let me go back to the site. Here we go. So see regions and platforms. Okay, here we go. So what they are saying is in which data center location, what is available? Now we can see there are regions available. There is a North America region, there is a Europe region. There is a Latin America region, there is an APAC region, there is a Japan region, etc. And within that, they have different locations. In US, they have Ashburn, Phoenix, Ashburn Classic, Chicago Classic, etc. etc. So if you go and search for what is the service they offer in each, I'm just taking infrastructure. There are a bunch of services. Now you can see in the first two data centers that is listed here, only these services available, not available here. But if you go down, there are classic services which are available only here, but not available here. So the data center locations are having specific services listed. So if you want to use classic services, you have to subscribe to these regions. Uh, in the in US, you have to subscribe to Ashburn Classic or Chicago and do the work. Similarly for EMEA, right now, OCI is available only in EMEA and North America, you can see this is OCI services and we have OCI Classic, which is also provided from Slow and Amsterdam. If I go to North America, this is all OCI. This is OCI Classic. But if I come to APAC, which is in Australia, there is no OCI service right now available, only classic services available. If I go to Japan again, only certain services available, no OCI services as such. If I go to Latin America, where there is Brazil, only classic services available. So OCI is the latest offering and it is not available everywhere. So when you need to identify what service you're going to subscribe to, first go and identify where it is available and then pick it up. So you can figure that out. 
I've given you the links for this. Now, which region should I subscribe? Now, look at the locations. Now, if I am going to OCI, now OCI you can consider is available right now only in North America and Europe. So, what if a customer is based in, let's say, Brazil or in Mumbai? They don't have OCI locally nearby. So, when, when I say a customer is here, then it means they want to have their users sitting in this location to access applications. So, where should the infrastructure be located? The nearest location is what you need to choose. So, that's how this works out. So, what is Oracle's recommendation with respect to picking up your region? Choose the region which is closest to your application users. For example, China, Hong Kong, etc. Please use North America as the default region. So, let me go back here. If you're using Classic, this is the list of regions and locations. If you're using OCI, this is the one. So, for all these people here, it's actually easier to access the US than going all the way to EMEA. Whereas if you are in a place like India, Maldives, Pakistan, then choose EMEA, which is this region over here. Now, you also need to keep in mind your regulatory compliance requirements. For example, in Europe, there is a requirement that the data has to be kept within Europe. So similarly, there could be regulations in each specific location. So keep that in mind when you try to subscribe to Oracle Cloud. So what happens when you subscribe? So let's go to the page to subscribe. So let me go and say buy or try for free. There are only two regions you can subscribe when you do free. But if you try to buy, so basically there are two types of subscriptions you can take either pay as you go or monthly flex. If you take pay as you go, there is no upfront payment required based on whatever you cons consume, you pay at the end of every month. In monthly flex, you give a minimum commitment. There's a contract of a certain duration, which means there is a discounted price that you get in monthly flex, but there is a minimum commitment that Oracle asks from you. Then you go and specify account details, whichever type you choose, whether it is for you or for an enterprise. And this is where you will go and give a cloud account name or a tenant ID. So I've just given this. It will validate whether anybody else has taken it and it has taken this as accepted. Now, what is the company name? Now, here comes the important part, which is your default region. Now, you can choose any one of these, but you can subscribe to services in all regions later. But when you choose, there is one location identified or one region identified as your default region. That is where some metadata is by default kept and it gets replicated to other locations. We'll come to that. So this is where you choose what is your default region, then give other details and subscribe to your cloud account. So OCI previously called bare metal. This comes with latest hardware. It uses KVM hypervisor. This comes with NVMe storage. We'll go into details. This is what we're going to discuss in this course. It comes with a bunch of new concepts availability domains, IAM, audit, compartments, etc. OCA Classic is the public cloud which Oracle had earlier and all PaaS and SaaS services are available. This typically uses Zen-based hypervisor. There was something called Nimula, which is what it uses. And there is something called cloud at customer. Now, what is cloud at customer? Right now, Oracle's cloud offering of cloud at customer is available only on the classic services. So let's see what is this clouded customer. Same hardware and software as available on public cloud, but it is provisioned at the customer data center. Now, what does this mean? Typically, as I told you earlier, whenever a customer subscribes to cloud centers and there are different customers. Okay, so customer one, customer two, customer three say these are data centers of customers this is customer one customer two and customer three all three customers can subscribe to oracle cloud no problems and when this happens please note 
Oracle as a provider has already got servers in place. They have provision for whatever infrastructure with software, images, etc. in place, which results in the fact every customer when they set up their cloud resources within Oracle Cloud, the services will be provisioned in these hardware as in where required. So I'm just putting some colors to show that resources are being provisioned across. Now please note, this is typical of any cloud provider. One of the fundamental things that happens in cloud is, it's a shared infrastructure. And it being a shared infrastructure, you are sitting along with other tenants in the same hardware. That's what typically happens. When you choose clouded customer, what Oracle offers is, hey, I will ship the hardware to your data center. We will monitor the hardware from our cloud engineers, but the server is located in your data center and you provide the space, networking, etc. But you don't need to worry about physical presence and network connectivity, etc. This is what clouded customer is all about. It's so the same hardware provisioned at the customer place, but customer doesn't pay upfront for it. It is like having the best of both worlds. I have the cloud running on my data center and I pay only for what I use. But yes, there is a minimum requirement or minimum subscription Oracle last because I'm shipping you the servers. You will have to keep it for four years minimum and you need to take a minimum of so much kind of specifications that come up. Clouded customer is where same hardware and software that runs on Oracle's public cloud is shipped to the customer's data center. Hardware is monitored by Oracle. Customer doesn't have to bother. He has to only provide for the space, power, cooling, etc. So that's where cloud at customer comes in. And right now, this is available only for OCI Classic, not for OCI. With the fact that the hardware is shipped to the customer center at the customer's data center, the entire hardware is only for that customer, meaning it is not shared across tenants. It is exclusively for the use. The OCI Classic, there is something called as dedicated compute. Now what happens here is a customer can subscribe to a dedicated compute, which results in within Oracle Cloud, a particular hardware is reserved for the customer. It is just a slight variation of clouded customer wherein the hardware is still at Oracle's cloud data center, but the entire hardware is reserved for this customer. Meaning whatever VMs that are created are all of a particular customer only. Again here, you have a minimum subscription requirement. You need to have so many hardwares, etc. But it is complete isolation. You don't need to bother about somebody else's workload affecting yours and things like that. So this is called as dedicated compute with OCI Classic. One important thing you need to remember is with Classic servering, uh, with the OCI Classic, only virtual machines can be created. Though you have a dedicated hardware, you can't install an OS directly in the hardware. It is only virtualized offering that Oracle provides. The UI itself is completely different in OCI and OCI Classic. What you see on the top is the UI for OCI. This is for Classic. Let me show you this. This is the typical cloud login page. And let me show Compute Classic also. So if I go to Compute Classic, the UI is entirely different, as I told you earlier. So this is where you can go and create instances, manage various things. Let me come back to the dashboard. And now I'm going to go to compute. What I just went to was compute classic. And what I'm going to go to now is compute. And you'll see that this is the actual OCI. And this UI is completely different than what we saw in compute classic, which is the OPC or the OCI classic services. Load up, there we go. So that's your compute infrastructure, OCI, how it looks.
So you need to choose which service and accordingly decide where you want to provision it. In both the cases, you have choices of deciding where you want. So if I come back to my OCI setup, if I want to set up something in Frankfurt, I need to choose my region. That's what is shown here. If I want to choose something in London, I choose this. Now I have set the context to London. Now whatever I do is going to happen in this region. If I want to go to Ashburn, that's another location. So it's as simple as that to switch between regions as a customer. So whenever you log in, you log in with your cloud account user. Remember you subscribe to cloud by giving a tenant ID. You give that and then you log in with your username and password. You type in your cloud account name, then give your username password. There could be multiple users in an organization. So they all can log in with their respective users for the tenant. So this is a typical dashboard uh, for Oracle Cloud and different services. Compute is what we are going to discuss